everyone, uh, my name is Tomi. If you are already using our modeling tool Asta, you may recognize my name because I do a lot of communications with the customers. Well, today I am going to do a short introduction to the concepts and usage of the use case models. Well, use case model is a model that describes um, interaction, no, interaction between the system and the user of the systems. And the user is called actor, as you already know, and it represents the role of the users. Let me draw a sample diagram, which is a use case model that represents the DVD renting shop, for example. Here is an actor named member, which interacts with the system. And interactions and the scenes, which actors and system communicate to achieve a goal is called use case. Here is a sample use case for the member to search for the DVD at the shop. Each use case has to have a clear goal to satisfy the actor's objectives and do not take use case as a function because use cases are often misunderstood as functions and they, uh, you intend to break them down too deep into sub-functions. Do not do that. Do not do the functional decomposition to a use case. Well, um, use case is a strange word. It is a case of use. So it is like a scene where actors act a role to accomplish the goal by interacting with the system. Well, let me add some more actors and use cases to complete this diagram. And I added another actor named staff and another use case, which this staff actor participates in, which is registering a membership for the member on the system. And this rectangle is called subject or system boundary. Well, let's see how this diagram goes into ASTA. I'll show you how quickly you can draw this use case diagram using ASTA. First, create a diagram. Go to diagram and select use case diagram. Diagram is open now. There is a toolbar that has notations of use case models. I just explained, actor and then use case. First, let's create an actor. Select actor on the toolbar, then click on the diagram. Name it as a member. Let's create another one called staff. And let's align them nicely. Now, create use cases. There are two ways to create use cases. One, it's same as actor. Select use case from a toolbar, then click on the diagram. Name it as search for DVD. Another way to create another use case, it's simple. Just double click on the diagram. And let's name it as a register member. Now let's create association lines between the actors and use cases. There are two ways to do so. One is using this mini icon that appears when you have your mouse over the actor. Select it and then click on the target use case. Another way is the same as how you created an actor. Select an association line on the toolbar and then click on an actor and use case. Let's add a subject system boundary using this rectangle item. And that's done. At last, when you want to create a use case description, select Open Use Case Description from its context menu. A description opens where you can put the details about this use case. Today, I showed you how you can create US, uh, use case diagrams in NASTA. And there is one more thing that I wanted to mention about use case diagram. There is another type of actor, which is shown here, called cashier system, which is not a human or a user, but is a system that participates into this rent DVD use case. So what I wanted to mention here is that non-human external system can also be an actor in use case diagram. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my first video and see you next time.